at this job here a pressure washer went crazy on the front step and it's a brand new bluestone step so they asked if we could try rewashing it and try to get some of those lines out or faded out i guess they hired a local kid to do it and they looks like they used a zero nozzle so it's a brand new stone blue stone so we're going to do our best to eliminate as many of these lines as possible i got the john deere pressure washer out so i just gotta hook up the hoses and then we'll get started Finish washing it with the turbo nozzle. Looks like it got all of it out. I am going to take the backpack blower and dry it off. And then I would definitely be able to tell if I missed any spots. So, like I said, all I'm here for is a bluestone step. I might be coming back to do the sidewalk, but we'll see. That's a whole different, uh, whole different job. All right, let me go get the backpack blower.
So this is after. No more lines. It's still wet, so. But those are all the lines in the stone. That's a wet spot. Those are lines in the stone. Lines in the stone. Lines in the stone. So I hope they're hope they'll be happy with it. I can't go any harder because then I'll start damaging the stone. So I turned my pressure washer down to about 1800 PSI, maybe 2000 PSI and continuously moved it. But I hope they'll be happy with that. Back to natural stone. There is one little line right there. You can see that one little line right there, but that'll fade. I can't get too close to the house with it because I don't want to chip any of their paint off. But that's pretty much good. So once they're satisfied with it, um, I told him I would strongly recommend sealing it with a water sealer, specifically for stone, a non-gloss one. That way, um, once it, when you keep it clean, that'll prevent the water from absorbing into it like a sponge and it'll make it last longer. So I don't personally seal them. I leave that up to the homeowner to seal it or the masons. I just come in and do the repairs and the cleaning. But that's what the masons tell me to tell the homeowners. So that's what I tell them. Not bad. All right, so now, fun part, I gotta pick up. I gotta pick up the tools, easy. Just roll up their hose and put the tripod away. And let me put their stuff back up on their front step. Okay, so one last look before I leave. All their decorations are back. Their lines are gone. Like I said, it's just that one real faint one that hugs the house right there and it comes out this way. They want to blast the stone too hard. But got 99% of it out. And if you look at the sidewalk, they did the sidewalk also. Like I said, it was a zero pressure nozzle it appears to be. It's the whole length of the sidewalk has those lines and it needs the all new polymeric sand so this possibly will be a future job you can see the pressure mark lines there's some settling spots that need to be repaired 
also. And then um, new polymeric sand and obviously pressure washed first to extract whatever sand we can get out of there. And that'll clean that up. Um, definitely not gonna take, don't recommend taking this whole sidewalk up. It's um, the pattern would be, it's a random pattern it appears. So it would be absolutely time, time wise, not wise thing to do for, for cost. But section repairs are no problem. There's a couple sections down there. And like I said, it had gray sand in it. And then someone put blue uh, tan sand on top of it. And they didn't sweep it all in. So now it's stuck to the top. So we'll see. But today we're here for the stoop and that's done.